Hello fellow engineers and welcome back to City Skylines. We're currently watching my subs about to hit a very special milestone, the Devil's Milestone, which can mean only one thing. We're going to carry on with Engertopia. If you haven't seen Engertopia before, you are in for a treat. It's got everything from super realistic highway junctions, real life projects such as the tunnel under Stonehenge, which I worked on in real life. We've also got super over engineered highway layouts because after all, this is Engertopia. Uh, but it's not just roads. We've got a pretty cool city layout out here using roundabouts to the max. We've got a lovely residential area in the most efficient shape possible, uh, but it does have a stinky tip. And then the majority of our city is also in a very efficiently shaped layout. Uh, however, last time we built the Poonama Canal, and unfortunately, as you can see, we've had a bit of a turd army. There's liquid poo water all over the place. It's flooded into the city, which is no good. Uh, yeah, you can see there's, a, there's like a lake here, and it's killed all the trees. So our initial plan was to create Poonama Canal to sort of stop polluting the river but unfortunately if you look at our river i feel like it's worse than ever we are discharging a lot of raw sewage into this river and it's it's not in a good state and the problem is i sort of very very stupidly last time, i completely forgot that like these don't just stop they constantly produce sewage because they are all connected to our city which is just there's over 20,000 bums sat on toilets producing all of that waste so I'm going to press pause and we're going to fix this. But not only are we going to fix this, we also have another crying issue that we need to sort out. Now, rumor has it architects are trying to move into our lovely city. And if we allow them to do that, we could end up with more buildings like this one. Well, obviously, curved walls and stupid roofs have been prioritized over the actual health and safety of the people inside the building. So we cannot have that. We need to, we need to create a home for the architects that are moving in. Now, that's not going to disturb everyone else. So what I was thinking is this patch of ground in here because we got the Poonama canal that's going to be that's going to be essential for transporting cargo we don't want to touch that but I think what we'll do is in here let's come down to landscaping and now I have a mod on I'm probably not at the level where I should be using mods but I have a mod on where I can change the terrain for absolutely no fee so we're gonna go up and up and up right and essentially I sort of want to build like a plateau up here to house the architects you might think, what the hell am I doing? I'm like giving them a lovely view over our wonderful Engertopia. But uh, do not fear, I know I know what I'm doing. All will be revealed. All right, so essentially I want that, but really, really high. Can we do that game? Or are you just going to get pointy on me? <laughs> it really looks like a nipple. Stop going pointy. All right, okay, I think this will work. I think this will work. We just need a bit of patience. Oh, it's quite satisfying watching it grow, actually. Although I do feel weird that I'm like doing circles around the nipple, like... Ooh, tweak it. <laughs> tweak it. <laughs> oh, that's probably too far. Now we just have to keep flattening. Oh god, why are you going so low? Stupid game. And then you're probably watching a time lapse of this, but this took me bloody ages. Why is it taking so long? <laughs> At least we're getting some height out of it, I guess. Aha, I've learned how to do it. I've learned how to do it. Right, let's go higher then. We can go higher. Now I know what I'm doing. God, I've, so I've sort of made a knob. That's probably big enough as well, actually. <laughs> I didn't realize how tall that was. All right, so we click this one, the level terrain tool, and then we can right click the very tip. Click. And now that levels everything to the same height. So you can see all the contours getting more spread out. That means it's flat. All right, so now we have a pillar. So let's remove all these trees. We'll leave a few just for scenery and stuff. We'll, we'll get rid of that rock because it's floating. Oh, it got, it got rid of itself. Okay, thank you, Rock. <laughs> all right, so if we do a road up here, it's gone all blurry for some reason. All right, that is not Primary Street. That is Architect Hill. And assuming I can get it back into focus. <laughs> Why have you gone so blurry? Now I'm going to paint these in. So hopefully the architects can move in there now. Although they may need a connecting road. But first, a bit too integrated with the engineers. We need to build like a separation system. Now my thinking here, what is the most separated building you can build? And then it struck me. It's a castle with a moat. So we're going to build a massive pit. Yes, yeah, so we're going to use this level terrain tool. So we'll right click up there, set the level. And then that's the same height, but we should probably go a little bit higher. So I'll just raise that slightly. Oh crap, not enough money. No, my mod's not working. I've actually been spending my money on this. Oh, balls. Hang on a sec then. Right, we are back. 
And now with the mod, I've actually made it. So landscaping should give me money. So we're currently on minus 700, which, uh, <laughs> which isn't great. But uh, if we do this now, yes, we're gaining money. All right, so I think we're back to about where we were for money. So I'm going to quickly just turn that off. I don't want to become a millionaire. All right, so now it's just free. So we can go back to what we were doing. I've also added a mod that changes this soil availability because... Basically, I think the game works by limiting the amount of soil you can move, which is probably a good idea unless you're trying to build a moat like I am. But yeah, you can see that's slightly higher. So we're going to literally just do a circle. And whether you get this time lapsed, I do not know because I'll see how I'm feeling. If you guys think you deserve a time lapse, you can always boost the old like button and maybe that will sway me. Right, so now we are there. It's, it's not very, it's not very centralized, is it, our castle? Uh, so maybe actually I should make this a little bit bigger, just because there could be more architects joining than we first imagined. All right, so that's all ready for people to move into. We just need to connect it up with a road. I assume, can we just do like a bridge? Will it know to do a bridge, or will it go all the way down? I was doing a bridge, but it says the height is too high. Uh, okay, apparently that's worked. I sort of wanted a bridge, but we, we didn't get a bridge. We got a very, very steep road. <laughs> right, so apparently that's all connected. And that's all fine. We've connected to this roundabout. The cars just have to come along here. <laughs> and go up the very, very steep mountain side. <laughs> Uh, I hope they got four-wheel drive, is all I'm saying. Then they'll be in, and then they can move in to the architect. I remember this this road is for architects only, so I'm going to gonna make sure they realize architects only. And now they should know, because you can clearly see on the road, architects only with the arrow that way. All right, so the next thing to fix this poo situation, we're going to move all of these up to here to fill in our moat. Um, but I think first we're just going to hit play and see if any architects move in up there. I'm actually going to go around and demolish some of these destroyed buildings as well because they're, they're annoying me a little bit. Oh god, what happened over here? What happened over here? All right, I've tidied up. The city looks much better now. Has anyone moved in up here? Not yet. Uh, could that be because they don't have power? I tell you what, let's put a wind turbine up there. We'll do some power lines over to there. Oh god, look how tall that one is. <laughs> look at the foundation for that. It's taller than the actual structure if you could see it and it wasn't blurry. And then we'll start. Oh god, it's so brown. Look how brown it is. Yeah, if we build a load of these up here. So the first one is in. We just got to pipe it up. We'll say pipe from there. We'll connect down into that line. And then I'm not going to disconnect them until all of these are connected up. Oh, but look, even though it's got no power, it's pumping water <laughs> into the moat. So that's fantastic. If we go around and add these pipes first, does that make... Oh god, what happened up there? Why are there like logs up there? I don't know. Uh, no, that's not what I wanted. You're, you're the wrong rotation. All right, there we go. We're getting there now. It's a bit it's a bit dodgy with the camera and stuff, but uh, they're in. And I think we can make them a bit more efficient by adding a turbine or two. But uh, I think we're good now. So now, hopefully, we can delete these. And that should keep the Poonama Canal at a flat level because there's, no there's no more sewage coming in. The level will go down so there's no more coming out. Because that's just an overflow, that. And then that should be all cleaned up. Nice. Meanwhile, oh god, over here. <laughs> We've got another sewage leak because I forgot to fix this first. Oops. So, hang on, let's press pause. Let's try Let's try and fix this. So there you go. We'll just put the canal back in so the water can flow along that edge. I say water, it's like 90% poo. But you know what I mean. All right, I think it's fixed. So if we press play... The sewage should stop leaking because we, we flooded a train line. Oops. <laughs> oh no, what is going on? How do I get rid of this? Do I just build another hole? Let's dig a big hole for all that water to sink into. Another one there. All right, there you go. It's off the rails. <laughs> We've made the strongest shape again. Uh, meanwhile, I'm gonna I'm actually going to block up this. So right click there and just no more overflakes. No more water is entering, so... We shouldn't have any need for an overflow. I will just get rid of that by doing a hole right there. <laughs> That's all going in. And what if I... Can I just, like, bury it? I think I did this, like, in my last episode. So now all the water's down there. We just bury it. And no one will ever know. <laughs> can we do the same here? Oh, no, the water's... It's come back. <laughs> Damn it. Right. That didn't work. That did not work. Quick. Build a hole again. Oh, no. We flooded the line. Tell you what, though. I'm quite liking these water physics. 
I wouldn't mind playing with that. Um, but anyway, we'll leave that as is. Uh, up here, this this port, it's got no electricity, so that's not good. Put a wind turbine in, and it needs some... It needs a water connection. I think we'll just give it a water tower, you know? Nice and simple. Okay, wind turbine doesn't seem to be moving, so we'll delete that. What can we do instead? How about we put a solar plant in over here in the shade? <laughs> just in the shade. Lovely. But uh, that should produce electricity. And what is it? Oh, that needs water as well. All right, hang on. Hang on. <laughs> it's never ending. All right, sorted. Somehow that is using the power of shade to create electricity. And that's all sorted. Oh, God, we got... The Punama Canal's flooding again. Hang on. All right, let's just fill this edge in. I'm going to try and make it all the same level. Now I know about the level terrain tool. It should be a lot easier. All right, sorted. This guy wants to be connected to the sewage line. So let's give you some pipes. And same with the train depot. So we'll just connect you up. All right, so they should both be sorted now. Yeah, the rivers. The river's definitely getting cleaner now. So that's good. Uh, no one seems to be underwater from... So I assume this is filling up. Oh, yes. Oh, yes, it is filling up. But the question is, why are no architects moving in here? Because there's no demand for housing. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to change this one into... Into that right now. They're all springing up new buildings. And look, we've got some demand for green. So if we keep an eye up here... Will they get built? I do not know. Oh, I know what I've done. I thought they would just buy any old house, but they're architects. They only need they need proper architecture to survive. So we probably need to build them a unique building for them to live in. Yes, I reckon that screams architecture. Like, look how dumb it is. What is the point of that roof? What does that bit do? That is the perfect architect castle. It's lacking water, so I am actually going to build little pipe over there and then i think we'll do we'll do we'll surround it in houses just in case people want to move in and oh my god someone's actually moved in the summit resident that's actually a good name how did they know they're on a summit oh someone's moved in next door the walnut resident yeah they're complaining about not enough water i'll tell you what guys i'm going to give you your own water pumping station yes it's perfectly safe it just gets water from the um the ground uh, which i'm sure is fine there's nothing wrong with the water quality down there uh, what's happened there i don't know what that means i think it means the road is flooded potentially oh my goodness look at all the housing up here they're actually happy <laughs> i've made the perfect architecture castle well that's sort of failed that has not gone to plan oh no our solar thing is getting burgled <laughs> We're not going to steal the sun from us because there ain't no sun. All right. Oh, look, and there's a train using our depot. Sweet. So I think that just got loaded up from the Punama Canal. So that's going well. The river is cleaned up. The grass has grown back. And this is filling up. I'm wondering, should I add in a few more sewage outlets if I can get them to not be blurry? <laughs> Right, there we go there we go so do a few more pipes around the edge just a few more right now that is filling up much quicker oh what's going down there they've got there's multiple problems what are the problems there's trash and there's a lot of crime up there oh god look there's like people dying and all sorts there you go i've turned depth of field off so we can actually see what the hell is going on now uh, it's basically a life of architecture has resulted in death crime and rubbish. I can't say I'm surprised, if I'm honest. Oh god, we got we got a blackout down here. What's going on? There's not enough electricity. Okay, let's build a few more. Since we got the money, we got we got a million quid now. I think we'll build a few more of these. So now up here you can see our available electricity is like almost double the consumption. So that should be fine, right? Yeah, that's much better. The main concern now are loads of abandoned warehouses. So let's dig those up. Thankfully, there's rebuilding going on as well. But basically, where they had no electricity, it just all went to pot. All the tenants left. Oh, no, the landfill's full up as well. Okay, we might need to build an incineration plant or two. And we'll say you empty. So that's going to be a really, really stinky area of the of this layout. <laughs> uh, but it's, it's still an engineer's dream. It's still Engitopia. Mainly because of this, like... Look at the carnage here. It is beautiful. There's burglaries, there's death, there's stupid architecture. It's lovely. And they're all drinking poo, which really, really cheers me up. All right. If we go in cinematic mode, I might just leave that there for a time lapse, I reckon.
Right, so so I left this running for a bit. We're we're almost filled up. We're like, know, maybe halfway filled, maybe a bit more. Um, but I've just noticed, I was like, what's going on over here? There's lots of, like, buildings demolished and stuff. Uh, and then I zoomed in a bit. Oh my god, my town has died. What? <laughs> so just being in the presence of architects has killed my entire city. We've we got to try and work out what's going on. We're down to 13,000 people. What happened? Mr. Tweeting Bird, can you explain? Oh, look, we won the most attractive city award. <laughs> Yeah, I couldn't really find anything in there. I don't know. Why is everyone dead? Oh, look, that person's sick. Are you sick in there? Citizens are sick. Oh, now they're dead. Okay, so it seems... Oh, God. <laughs> what have I done to my city? I tried to make a joke about architects and now everyone's dead or dying. Uh, let's have a look at health. How is health looking? Oh, it's pretty damn red. Let's build another hospital. Probably over here somewhere. All right, so we've got a new hospital there. That should help some people. Maybe you can put a medical clinic somewhere. I don't know, down over here. This is like sort of privacy area so look at all those happy people now uh, maybe another one in here demolish some of those buildings that need demolishing lots of happy people now okay so that's good i think we then need to sort out the dead bodies so we're going to build a crematorium i don't think we're going to have enough space if we do a cemetery so let's do a crematorium plus we already have a cemetery we want to give people a choice when they die uh, so up here maybe in the middle of this roundabout thing There's one there then probably one down here as well so at the end of that road seems good okay is that any better oh god <laughs> look <laughs> what's happened to my city <laughs> oh how did everyone die oh actually is it because that's connected to the main water supply oh god it is oh wow look the pipes go in the air that's quite cool <laughs> i think that might have been killing people i thought that was just pumping water to the architects but it's connected to the entire drainage system so let's demolish that i feel a bit silly for like taking the mick out of the architects having terrible living conditions Meanwhile, my city is in ruins. I have never seen so many abandoned buildings. Should we start demolishing? I think we probably should cheer people up. All right, this could take a while. At least it's cheering the odd person up. That's That makes it a little bit more satisfying to do, I guess. By the way, if in the comments someone tells me, by the way, there's a really quick way of doing that. You could have just pressed this one button and it would have done it. Don't, don't post that. Please don't post that. <laughs> I would rather live not knowing there was a quicker way than knowing I've just wasted a buttload of time. Are they all- this whole place is just death. <laughs> it's the death shaft. Even the balls are dead. <laughs> oh, can I just do that? Oh, no, that's deleting all the good ones as well. Oops. <laughs> Don't delete the good ones, Matt. All right, there we go. That's better, apparently. I know there's no electricity because- because <laughs> there's no buildings. <laughs> oh, the buildings, like, join the electricity, so we're gonna have to just pump some pylons in. There we go. Right, I am going to guess what happened was there was some sort of pandemic, like architecturitis or something. And that is always the case when architects move in. Uh, but for now, I think we've, we're sort of, we're past the worst of it. I think the city is cured again. Do I want to look over here? Oh no, these guys are fine. The Billy Ray district is still going well. So these guys are getting sick from being too close to the incinerator. Oops. Sorry, guys. <laughs> But look, we've just won the most attractive city award again. Uh, how is Architect Hill looking? It's getting there. It is definitely getting there. Uh, it is going to look fantastic when completed. I was a bit worried what I was going to do, like, once we get, like, almost full. But uh, I've sort of just realized that the Punama Canal is drying up. So I'm guessing sewage does evaporate over time, uh, which I guess is good to know. We've got a high demand for residential zones. Look down there. So it's very green. So where should we build those? We can't come near this area. This is sacred ground of the Stonehenge. Uh, we've got a big junction here, so maybe we could make use of it. Maybe we could fill in, like, this area. Yeah, maybe we'll add something there and we'll do, like, a new junction as well. Yeah, but that, that was a hell of a view. Look at, look at Engertopia. This is beautiful now. I think the water levels are such that the architects are definitely stranded. There's no need to be worried about Architect Titus spreading through the city again. I think we're all good, and I think we have definitely improved the city. Although a little bit concerned about the Punama Canal. It's just like a really long trench at the moment. But we'll fix that next time. All right, peace, love, and poop canoes. <laughs> Bye, guys. <laughs>